My name is uh, Charlie Mullock. I uh, do a morning show on the uh, the Eagle 105.7 over in, over in uh, Bozeman. One listener, yes. Look at all you look at all you KGLT people. I knew it. I knew it. All right, if you have cell phones, please put them on silent or vibrate. Appreciate that. And uh, enjoy the show. We've got a lot of great comics. I, I got to uh, pick out these uh, comics myself. Uh, several from, um, from Billings, one from Missoula, a couple from uh, Bozeman, including myself as well. And thank you guys for coming on now. So give yourself a round of applause before we get this thing uh, started up here. Yes, there you are. Don't be afraid to laugh. Don't be afraid, okay? And one thing I'd like to say as well is uh, uh, don't be offended. Have an open mind, you know? Don't be like Good Time Charlie. I was so offended. Things that offend me is when people wear, uh, being Native American, when they wear the headdresses, like Khloe Kardashian. That just pisses me off, you know? The one, the one person who gets a uh, pass for me for wearing a headdress is that little white kid on that Tootsie Pop rapper, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you seen that guy with a bow and arrow shooting at a star, remember that back in the old days? If you saw that, you get a free uh, Tootsie Pop. Those are the good old days, man. Those are the good old times back in the, uh, back in the old days, man. But um, yeah, I, my mom's she's half Indian, so we're Native American. But we're like we're like acclimated, like anybody else in America. You know what I'm talking about? We're so acclimated. Our family heirloom is a white Explorer. It's a sole Ford truck that it doesn't even run. It's a joke. We just pass it down to the next generation. Here, here, you take this. You get the white Explorer. Yeah, the other one that's a little more uh, manageable is uh, we have a gravy boat. All right, we have a gravy boat we use for Thanksgiving. People are like you're Native American. You should not celebrate Thanksgiving. You know. All my uh, bohemian hippie friends and whatnot, they tell me that. I'm like, well, no, we're acclimated. We've got, uh, you know, we're, we're with the program. Yeah. Our gravy boat, it's a Mayflower. You guys should see this thing. It's pretty awesome, man. It's good times, good times. Yeah, I, uh, I, I've been doing comedy for a while now. I, some of my friends who are in comedy, they said, now if you want to, they said, tell me, if you want to really make it in comedy, you got to go do open mics in Las Vegas. So last year, I did that for the first time. Went down to Vegas, went to this uh, really tough room, and it was great. All the black comics there, there was a, they had a DJ. They got like hip hop. All the white comics got like rock, you know. And I could see the uh, the little chubby faced college girl running the laptop doing the music. She was like, "Hey, come here for a second. I'm like, what's up? She goes, "What are you? What what nationality? You know?" <laughs> she was confused. She had no idea. And I was like, "Oh, I'm Eskimo. I'm Eskimo." Sheer panic on her face. She had no idea what to play for me. So I think as they're introducing me, Charlie Mullock, she like just panicked and hit shuffle. And all of a sudden, Blink-182 came up. I was like, yes! The, st- the music of my homeland. All the small things. Every time I hear that, I just picture dog sleds going across the horizon at sunset. You know? Seal skin canoes floating across the ocean looking for whales, man. Let's harpoon these things. Good times, good times. Here's something, though, that break- broke my heart uh, recently. I... I was looking at uh, my daughter's Facebook page. Uh, one of their gifts I got for Christmas was a game called Pie Face. I don't know if you know what this thing is. It's like a mechanism you put your face in this little cutout, and it's got these little handles with a hand. You put a, a pie tin with like with uh, whipped cream in it, and you see how many times you can turn that thing without it getting your face. You know, the person with the most clicks wins. But here's the thing: Pie Face is a derogatory term for Eskimos. You know what I'm saying? And my little kids are playing that, all smiling, like they don't see the horrific irony in this. You know what I'm saying? It'd be like if your kids were playing a game or a same sort of game, you click the thing, and it, like, it, you try not to honk your nose, you know, and they called it honky. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that'd be funny as shit, but I would like to, at the same time, my heart would be bleeding inside for you guys. <laughs> That's just me, though. I could be wrong. I've been, I've been, uh, been known to be. Oh, my God. Yeah, I come from uh, Norvik, Alaska. I don't know if you know where this is. It's right inside the Arctic Circle in northern Alaska, right below Barrow and everything. And uh, I'm excited. We're getting technologically advanced as Eskimos. Just two years ago, we finally got cell phone towers in, uh, in our little village. And it's weird calling up to my dad, and he's answering the cell phone while he's out seal hunting. You know? It's weird seeing all my cousins live tweet skinning a caribou. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Now, if you know what caribous are, they're, they're uh, the reindeers, is what they essentially are. You know what I'm saying? So Christmas up there is a little bit different. You know what I'm <laughs> Where they hunt down like Rudolph and everything. I mean, and they're delicious, too. The caribou beef uh, meat is uh, more delicious than beef. If you get a chance to have caribou stew, do it, all right? Eat, I, I don't, Donner Blitzen, screw those guys, all right? Snack that stuff up, all right? When we see Santa Claus and the eight reindeer, we, it'd be like if you guys like saw Santa Claus being pulled by... Uh, who are Livingston, paninis, you know what I'm saying? Paninis, you know what I'm saying? Turkey sandwiches, whatever, whatever. That's a good time. But yeah, I come from Alaska. I was born in Nome, Alaska. I uh, have Eskimo. 
And uh, it's weird when you think about uh, our history. I was looking at our history of Eskimos, and I found some kind of horrific things that uh, they practice something called patricide. Now, what this is, when you got too old, they didn't take you to your retirement home. They put you on an iceberg and pushed you out to sea, and that was it. It was like a Viking funeral, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Minus the whole like honor and death thing, but baby steps, baby steps, you know what I'm talking about? Ah, it's a good time. It's a good time. So, yeah, if you're older, you might not want to go to Alaska. Yeah. Spend your twilight years in the treasure state. I think you like it down here a little better. But uh, it got me to think, like, what, what, what led to that, you know? How did that come about? And I thought, oh, yeah, we smoke a lot of weed in Alaska. You know what I'm talking about? Good times up there, man. Holy cow. A bit of a history for you from an Eskimo, right? Old man Savick is really harsh on my mellow, dude. I know, right? Old cat. I got an idea. See a piece of ice out there? Let's put him on it. <laughs> because you know what those white explorers said? They said, if you love something, set it free. <laughs> if it comes back, kick him off harder next time. <laughs> All right, we got a great show for you guys. You guys ready for the rest of your comics? Come on, let me hear you. There you are. Don't be afraid to clap. Enjoy the show tonight, all right? Your first comic tonight is coming from uh, all the way from Bozeman, Montana. He's one of my favorite new comics, great writer and a funny performer. Please give it up for Mr. Andrew Carroll.